Okay, so I'm doing short recording. Okay, that'll but this is League of Robots. This is a robot based MMO. Ah, uh, sorry. MOBA. Multiplayer Online Battle. Not MMO. Not massive multiplayer online. Which is usually attributed to RPGs. <coughs> but it's not an MMO. It's not massive. So, what am I talking about? I'm not talking about a specific character, I'm talking about beginner builds. So, some of you that have played Nova Bros will know, beginner builds are builds you, you start when you start the game. They, uh, in terms of Smite, before the game even technically begins, you get a selection of items depending on what the enemy team had, uh, what the enemy team selected, and what your team selected, and what you're playing. <coughs> <coughs> but the point is that you get certain items for certain situations depending on what you're doing. <coughs> <coughs> so a short rundown of these items. This is for, this is basically physical damage. These four items are what you want to get. Physical Damage is basically what this is. This is magical damage. You can get these four. Again, the <coughs> magic is a little different. For physical, you buy this, into this, buy this again, into this, into that. But for this, you need to buy this, turn into that, buy this, buy this, and then buy that. So it's usually just this way physical, but it's this way for magical. Toughness is just basically physical protection. Pretty, uh, pretty useful. <coughs> Resistance, magical protection. It's also useful. Speed, basically you can only have one pair of boots. I liked it back when it was more in beta, because you could stack boots infinitely. And I remember one game where I just had like a billion boots, and I was like, oh yeah, I have like speed hacks. I wish you could still do that. That was, that was fun. I didn't have all that much damage, but it was fun. <coughs> plus 1 to speed, plus 2.5. And these give you a little bonus to a certain damage type, but only to plus 2 speed instead of 2.5. Like, this is not buying this, then this. It does not give you, like, 3.5. It's you gain plus 1, and then you gain an extra 1.5 to buy this. Health, very general, like these three, very general health items, nothing special. These two are health regen. <coughs> <coughs> I'm very sorry for how much I'm coughing in this video. But if you play Smite, you'll know uh, health regeneration is HP 5. In Smite, it's health per 5. And this is health every second. You gain. If I'm correct, I could be very wrong on this, but you sh if I'm right, you gain one health every second. And these just increase that. I remember one game I had so much health regen, health and defense, I would literally just stand at a tower and regenerate health so quickly that the tower couldn't out damage it. I just stood there for, like, I think three to five minutes taking tower shots. Nothing happened. It was just, oh yeah, I'm just taking tower shots. No big deal. Hybrid offense. Here's the best explanation of this. I don't know all the characters, but I'm pretty sure they're only one damage type. These, absolutely, <coughs> absolutely worthless. <coughs> 300, I'm going to say gold, but 300 gold for the elements of stuff. Oh look, I can, for 80 gold less, Get the normal sword, which is two physical damage better. And with that extra goal, I can buy health potions. There's health and speed potions. The speed potion gives you more speed than a ghost walker does. <coughs> <coughs> and for uh, some of you who don't know, 
This just gives you plus 80. When you activate it, it only gives more speed. It does not give more damage. Just in case anyone's wondering. But look at this. The Ancient Blade gives the same amount of damage as a Blue Seal in terms of physical. I have to pay 600 for the Elemental Stones. And like it's 1,080 gold for this item. It's only 620 for these. So these two are poorly balanced. Very, very poorly balanced. <coughs> okay, so starter builds. What I like to do if I'm playing on jungling, this means I'm not going to stay in lane for long. I'm going to get up to level 3 or 4, gain a few levels, and then I'm going to go into the jungle and start killing bulls. What do I usually get? I usually pick up two normal swords, which is, uh, actually no, that's 440. I pick up a normal sword, I pick up shoes, and I'll pick up health potions. If I'm trying to rush blue steel, which uh, I call a blue steel rush, I'll buy two normal swords and go to life. <coughs> I like to do this on physical damage uh, lane use. So anyone that you, will use, you usually will see in lane as physical damage, I like to run that. It's, a, it's dangerous, but it, when played by an experienced player like myself, it's a very effective build. It, it can really get damage quick. And if you can get an early kill off of it, it's very good. <coughs> now what if I go magic? Uh, I'll usually pick up two of these and then health potions. So if I want to go for a little bit of a safer route, I'll get one of these, uh, some sh get a pair of shoes, and then I'll get health potions. Uh, just so you know, before we get into this, there's no such thing as teamwork or like paint or this or that. It's basically just retards right now. There's just a bunch of morons that will run into enemy towers and die. On a short little side note before I end the video, first off, this ability is broken. Oh yeah, just invincibility for 1.9 seconds. Doesn't sound like a long time, like two seconds. That's not very long. That, like if you time that right, you can get if every single enemy ultimate was used simultaneously and you use your ultimate right like all that damage just negated and two it gets uh higher it's like uh it's 2.8 2.7 at max rank but either way um the towers in this game are broken they're not balanced as often. Well. They have way too much health, so it takes way too long to get prepared to kill them. And looking at Smite for a few moments, which I think this is Dota 2 as well, in Smite, if there are minions in the tower, it will target the minions. So if it's within range, the minions will be targeted. Unless you damage an enemy. If you damage the enemy characters, or enemy, and Smite's term, gods, then it will target you until you leave the range. And even if you leave the range for a short period of time, if you step back in the range, I'll target you again. As well, <coughs> in Smite, <coughs> the more you get hit by the tower, the more damage it does. Or I think for every shot, every repetitive shot, it does more and more damage. So you can't just stand there and be like, oh yeah, I can just take the tower all day. Like, the first hit, hits for 100. Second hit, hit for 200. Next hit, 400. That's not the actual scaling, but it scales. It, it's not just 100, 100, 100, and then you're just healing up so fast. And also the fact that most games you join are like pretty much 30 minutes in, so you never can, you know, uh, you can never just join, jump into it, play, and leave. You have to join, wait like an hour, and then you can play. Either way, thanks for watching. I'll see if I can do more videos with other little helps. Helps, yes, I use an S. With uh, <coughs> other little tips and explanations to stuff to make you better at some games. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.